Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new around here, my name is Becca Bristow. I am a registered dietitian, so I actually make tons of nutrition and wellness and health-centered content here on my channel. But I am currently about five months postpartum with a sweet baby girl, so I have been making some motherhood-related videos as well, and that is what we're gonna be talking about today. More specifically, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all of my baby essentials. So these are all of my like top must-have like items or products that have been super helpful to us throughout Hayden's first five months of life so it's not technically newborn it's kind of newborn and infant essentials like all kind of in one and as she grows older I'm sure I will have more things that we are loving but right now this is kind of the list that I have come up with okay so I have kind of a lot of products to share so I'm just going to dive right in and the first thing I wanted to mention are some sleepers, which are basically like baby pajamas. So Hayden literally lives in these. Um, both Matt and I work together from home, so we don't get out of the house that much. I mean, we do, but of course we have like cute little like outfits for her and stuff like that. And I do like to dress her up. It's always cozy, but I do like to dress her up. But nine times out of ten, she is hanging out in PJs all day and... I'm kind of jealous of her. So the first um, ones that we really, really love, these are actually from Old Navy, by the way. I literally just pulled these out of her hamper. So if they look a little like worse for the wear, that's why. Um, <laughs> they're not clean. But anyway, so these are from Old Navy. Last time I checked, they like didn't really have these. I'm hoping they come back with them maybe when the cold weather comes around again. But these are called like plush, I think it's like plush knit or something like that. I'll try and link them down below if they even still have them. But I bought these in like every single color. I love that they're just solid one color and they're so, so soft and stretchy and um, they're on the bigger side. So she, this is zero to three months and she's just now like kind of growing out of them. Um, they, la they lasted us for a while. And then the other ones I really love are from Target. This little floral one is my favorite. I think it's just so cute. But the reason I love these Target, this is um, Cloud Island is the brand, is the zipper actually comes up from the bottom. So when you're, it's so easy to change diapers because you don't have to like unzip her whole situation. You can just unzip the legs to change um, diapers, which is especially kind of nice in the middle of the night. Although we haven't changed a diaper in the middle of the night in a very long time because she sleeps. But yeah, so sleepers are a must. And then along with that, the other thing that she's wearing pretty much 24-7 is just white classic onesies. You can never get enough of these things. They are staples. Um, the ones that I have are actually from Gerber. They're, they're organic, just white, plain onesies. And she wears one of these under every single sleeper and she's just wearing them all the time. So this is just a good staple to have. Okay, so then the next couple things are kind of related to sleep. So one of my absolute favorite must-haves is actually not like a physical thing I can show. And that is a sleep class that we took. Um, we did the Taking Care of Babies. That's her name on Instagram and also like the name of her company, I guess. She has an amazing sleep class. She is a former, I think, NICU nurse or L&D nurse or both. I don't know. Um, but then also her husband's a pediatrician. And I saw this class all over Instagram. Everybody was raving about it. So we decided to get it. We took the newborn class and we also did her ABCs of sleep class, which we are kind of completing now that Hayden's old enough for it. And I think it has helped so much. I would recommend it to everyone. Um, sleep to me is priceless. So the money for the class was like a no-brainer. It's not even that expensive. And yeah, so that is like a total must-have for us. It worked really, really well for us. And Hayden has been a great sleeper. And then along with that, um, another, I guess, must-have for us would be the Snoo, which is this super bougie, like, electronic crib that moves baby all throughout the night. And it, like, responds to crying and it will, like shake them and shush them like a little bit more and it just like reminds them of the womb and it's amazing so Hayden was so hey I could do a whole video on the snoo I'm gonna try and keep it real brief here let me know if you want to hear like my full spectrum of thoughts on it we really did like it um Hayden started sleeping through the night when she was four weeks old which is pretty crazy and she slept through the night up until that like four month sleep regression she started waking up a bit more but then we started um, when we did the second taking care of baby sleep class, she is back to sleeping through the night. She's in the crib now. She's out of the snoo. We didn't have like a whole a big issue transitioning her out of the snoo. Some people say they do. Um, but we also, she slept pretty much all of her naps, most of them. Some were on the go, some were on us, some were in the sling, whatever. But 
she took mo majority of her naps even as a newborn in the crib so she was used to sleeping in other things other than the snoo um so maybe that helped i don't know but along with that i wanted to mention two things that we use um in the crib so we love the snoo big fans of the snoo and she slept in that every single night with like the waddle that comes with it but then all of her other naps during the day we used these swaddles these are the summer me i think they're called swaddle me yeah so this is what we used um and they're amazing so i know like you know you learn how to swaddle when you have a baby with the big blankets and stuff like that but honestly and I actually learned this in the taking care of babies class. Those just, I mean, you can swaddle pretty tightly, but you are so much better off just using an actual like Velcro or zipper swaddle because they're guaranteed. <laughs> oh yeah? You are guaranteed that it's not gonna like unravel and fall apart and their arms are gonna get out and then they're gonna wake themselves up. So if I were you um, and you're about to have a baby or your first time mom, skip, oh, like I literally didn't even swaddle her in a swaddle blanket unless it's for a picture so we use these exclusively and it's just like velcro that you wrap them up in it's super easy and foolproof um the ollie swaddle i know a lot of people rave about i actually wanted to get it but these ended up working fine and we were happy with them so i never did but i feel like i kind of want to try that for future babies just because people love it so that's another one you could check out but these are the swaddle me's and we love that um but then babies start rolling over and once they start rolling over you can no longer swaddle their arms down because it becomes kind of dangerous if they were to roll over um, when they're asleep so what we tran use to transition and we're actually still using this is um this is by halo it's the um sleep slack sleep sack swaddle so again this is what we use in the crib and I like it because it's a full normal sleep sack um, and the arms are completely out. It's like sleeveless up top, but it wraps around and it has this like swaddle component to it. So it's, it was just perfect for transitioning her. The second she started rolling over, um, I started swaddling her with one arm out. So we did that for probably like a week and then we switched to two arms out. And I think she was like a little like what is happening at first, um, but she got used to having her arms out pretty quickly. But this is what we used. Um, to transition her we're still actually using this because I haven't just bought a regular sleep sack yet um, but I will soon I guess um, but yeah so sleep sacks are really awesome for sleeping in the crib but she's now sleeping in the crib exclusively like all through the night and stuff like that okay next absolute must-have is the nose Frida everybody talks about this because it's awesome this is for basically sucking snot out of baby's noses and it's like an alternative to using one of those bulb syringes so what's nice about this is you can um, a it's you can you can clean it out with a bulb syringe you can't really it can get moldy in there and gross um, but this you can fully take apart and like clean it and scrub it whatever um, which that I like but then also it's just um, it's just nice to be able to like suck and actually I just like you have a little more control over what's happening versus one of those syringes. And there's a filter, so you're not gonna like suck anything up into your mouth. Um, but this is super helpful if they have a stuffy nose. But um, while, I, while this is a must have, and there's definitely a time and a place for it, and it did come in handy for us, I actually have another tool for booger removal, I guess, that I use so much more. And that is this little tiny guy right here. It's called the Oogie Bear. And um, I got it off of Amazon. Um, my friend April actually told me to get this, and she was so right because it really comes in handy. It's just this tiny little plastic bear <laughs> stick and it has these little plastic hooks on either end. They're like slightly different and you can literally just like scoop it up right in there in their nose and get it out. So the nose Frida is great if they have like a lot of snot or like, sorry, this is graphic, but mom life, I guess. Wet like boogers high up there that you can't reach with this. Nose Frida is great. But this is so much easier to, if there's like a booger that's visible, you can just reach up in there and scoop it out, especially if it's like drier and like stuck. This is a great conversation. Um, but this is so much more handy and I use this 90% of the time, but I would still get this because it, there are times where it comes in handy where you can't really use this. Okay, so the next one is probably the most obvious and everybody knows that you need, the, you need this, but I'm kind of picky about it. And that is actually diapers. So... Um, for me, when we, you know, I knew I was going to have a baby, I knew I wanted di diapers that were going to be non-toxic, meaning um, made from like organic cotton and no fragrance or anything like that. Most diapers out there have fragrance added, which is chemicals, and I'm not down with that, especially on and around her private parts. 
So I was not down with that. Um, and so I started using just like regular non-toxic cotton diapers. But then one of my friends, um, Logan, was talking about how she uses bamboo diapers. And I was like, huh, what are those? Had no idea. So um, now we use bamboo diapers. This is a bamboo diaper. It's obviously made from bamboo and not cotton. They are like so like silky and buttery and soft. Um, they're super absorbent. And the main reason I switched to these is because these break down and like biodegrade. I think it's in like 90 days. Don't quote me on that. It's like a fairly short amount of time. Whereas regular like cotton diapers take like 500 years, which is insane. Like Hayden's diapers are going to be around longer than her grandchildren. No. <laughs> so I was like, that's crazy. There's got to be an alternative. I know a lot of people do cloth and I actually did consider it because I know a lot of people who cloth diaper and actually really love it. But I ended up just not going down that path. And this to me felt like a really good in between. I feel good about using these because they're not going to be like literally around for a million years on like polluting the earth um because they do break down cloth is still better but um anyway so these are the diapers that i use i use the the actual brand is called diaper um d-y-p-e-r and it's like a subscription service so they just come to my house which is really really nice i would recommend them i like them they're super absorbent we've had less blowouts and they actually work really well so love these Okay, next I wanna talk about bathtubs. So when Hayden was like teeny tiny, we would bathe her in our bathroom sink and we used, it's called like the pooge or pudge, I don't know how to pronounce it, tub, which I really liked. And it's just like one piece of foam so it doesn't take up a lot of room and you just like fold it into a little tub. And it was great. Um, but then once she grew out of that, which was pretty quickly, cause she's a long baby, um, we switched to a tub from Skip Hop and it's just like this cute little gray whale. I like that it's like gray and not like, neon colors anything neutral that's baby i'm like yes please <laughs> um but so anyway we really like that and that can actually work for like newborns up to like much bigger babies so i kind of wish i had just bought that from the beginning to be honest but um anyway so i like that tub and i would definitely recommend it but also i bought this like little matching um it's like a little water scoop thing but it is so great because it has like these rubber edges on it so that you can like line it up with their head and you never get water in their eyes, which I know that seems like a small thing, but I'm telling you, it's like worth the $10 or whatever it is because it makes life that much easier. You're not getting water in her eyes. Before I would just use like a big cup, which obviously is free because we have those, but it would always get in her eyes and it was like a little bit stressful. And this is just like, I love that thing. Like I, everybody needs that, I think. Okay, next up is burp cloths. So when you have a little baby, they're gonna be spitting up. Um, and now we're getting into like a drooly phase and burp cloths are just necessary. You're gonna have one in your diaper bag. You're gonna have them all over your house. You just need burp cloths. However, I will say that the cute like pattern, you know, uh, little cloths that are marketed as burp cloths, really aren't that effective and they're usually not that absorbent. So what I actually use are these and they are just, these are actually like legit, like old fashioned cloth diapers, which they are so small, they must be for newborns. But um, this is what we use for burp cloths. They're just plain little white cloths. They are diapers, so they're super absorbent and I love that they just work really well. So they're cheap, you can get a big pack of them for not very expensive at all, and um, they're easy just to keep around your house, throw in your diaper bag, super absorbent, and they save money, so love those. Okay, then here I have um, like a swaddle blanket or you know receiving blanket, which I told you guys already that I never swaddled Hayden in these unless it was for a picture because I just don't think they're worth it when you can get a Velcro zipper one that works way better. Um, so. But that doesn't mean that I wouldn't have these on hand, and that is because they are just great for blankets. We use these all the time, especially because she was a winter baby. Um, I loved having blankets just around the house. Um, we had like heavier, fleecier ones too. Um, but these are just really nice to have um, just to stick on like in her car seat if we were going for a walk or in the car or whatever. And we, I just like having blankets around, and these are just really soft and cozy, and they're you know they're smaller, so they're baby size. And definitely I would grab some of these, but I wouldn't say that you need to like stock up and have a whole drawer full because you're probably not, I mean, if you're taking my advice, you're not gonna be swaddling with these. So you just need a couple. Okay, next up is a diaper cream. You're obviously going to need a good diaper rash cream because their poor little butts can get a little red 
a little chat. Yes, they can, can't they? So you're definitely gonna need some kind of barrier cream. Um, so this is the one that I use. It's from the Seedlings line from Young Living. I love this stuff. Unfortunately, a lot of the diaper creams that are out there do have like chemicals and stuff like that in it, which is just not my jam, especially on my tiny little Hayden. So this is what I use instead. It's non-toxic and it works so well, you guys. Like if she all of a sudden is getting like redness on her butt, I swear to God, it's gone by the next day whenever I use this. So this is like a holy grail and it lasts a really long time too. We've had this same tube since she was a newborn and we still have some left, so. Okay, and then also from Young Living, this is the Digize oil blend and this is a definite must have for me. So this is like the digestion support oil and Matt and I use it all the time, but this has saved me a few times with Hayden actually. Um, if you're gonna use essential oils on your baby, make sure you're doing your research, make sure you're using good ones. This is personally the only brand that I trust and you have to dilute them heavily, which I have done um, whenever I've used it. But we have been super lucky um, with Hayden. She hasn't had much really G GI issues at all, no reflux, um, hardly any gas as like a newborn. But there have been a f like a handful of times where you I could tell, you know, like her st stomach was just very upset and she was just <laughs> inconsolable crying and screaming. I could tell she was uncomfortable and in pain and it just broke my heart. Um, so one night I actually was like, why have I not tried to like, maybe this seems like gas, let me try and address it with oils and see if it helps. And I mean, when I say she was inconsolable for like 15 minutes, I mean, we pulled out all the stops to try and soothe her. And this is when she was a little older. This was not like tiny newborn. And she, so I was finally like, give me the diagize and I rubbed it on her belly and within like a minute, she was almost completely calm. And then within like two minutes, she was fully asleep. It was bedtime when this happened. And I, I, I mean like, I'm a believer in oils, but I was like, wow, like, thank God. I felt so much better for her that she was no longer in pain. And it was just really nice to have that tool for me. So yes, Dodge Eyes is a definite must have. I know some people use like gripe water and stuff like that. I guess this is just like my version of that and it's worked really, really well for us. Okay, this next one isn't necessarily like a baby, strictly a baby item, but I did want to like mention it here because I love it. And that is my diaper bag. So this is a Ryla pack um, and I love it. So it's just like a faux leather backpack. They have a bunch of different colors. I kind of want to get like one more color, um, but I got the black because it's just very neutral. Um, but the reason that I love this so much is because it is actually compact. I feel like all of the diaper bags that are out there are humongous, like huge, huge bags, which maybe if you have like multiple kids and like older kids who need snacks and stuff like that, that is necessary. But just for Hayden, like I really don't need that much when we leave the house, like a few diapers, some wipes, a burp cloth, like, oils like whatever you just don't need that much so I can fit like my you know phone and wallet and all of her stuff and like some extras like changing pad extra change of clothes all of that in here it's very compact it's not this like enormous bag I'm lugging around and I just really really like it so I wanted to mention that okay next up is slings um, you're gonna want some kind of baby carrier being able to carry your baby around and be hands-free is so, so nice, especially when you're out and about, but also it's really helpful when you're around the house too. If you just wanna like get some stuff done and baby girl or baby boy wants to be held, having a sling is, or any kind of carrier is awesome. My preference is sling by far. Um, I just love these. There is a little bit of a learning curve to figuring out how to use a sling. But once you get it down, I'm telling you, it's so quick and so easy. She loves being in it. It's easy to put on, I just love it. So uh, all of mine, I have three, this is one of them. All of mine are from Wild Bird, I love their company. This one is currently sold out, it's like their rain, It's like one of their rainbow, I think it's called the rainbow parakeet. There's like such a following and like craziness around these slings you guys, it's like kind of insane. They always sell out, um, but they're really awesome quality and I love them, so that is a definite must have. And if you're not sure how to use these, um, there are tons of tutorials on YouTube, but then also on my Instagram, at Becca Bristow, I have um, a highlight just called Sling Tutorial where I show you how I put Hayden in here, so you can check that out if you want some tips. Okay, so just a couple more must-haves. So the first one is definitely the Baby Bjorn um, like baby seat. I honestly don't even know what it's called. I'll link it down below. It was a hand-me-down. Um, I didn't even know it existed. It wasn't on my radar. But it, it has been like the number one best thing that we've had. Um, my sister-in-law gave it to us and I'm so grateful because Hayden absolutely loves it. She spends so much time hanging out in there. Um, it's usually in our kitchen, so while we're like 
you know, just getting stuff done or if I'm cooking or anything like that, she can just hang out in there. She's actually sitting in it right now and she can just bounce and look around and watch us and she loves that thing. Another thing that she really, really loved was actually the rock and play, which has been recalled, um, but we did use that up until it was recalled. Um, that was another thing she liked to spend a lot of time in, but the baby Bjorn, hands down, is what she spends the most time in and she absolutely loves it. And then the other thing is a play mat. Um, ours is from Skip Hop, I love it. It's so cute and she loves it. There's like blinking lights and music and all these like little, you know, stuffed animals hanging down that she can play with. And she has spent a lot of time on there too and it keeps her very occupied. So again, it's really nice like if we're working, um, like, you know, just sitting right next to her, letting her be on the play mat and just entertain herself. It's really convenient to have. I actually am just about to order her one of those like stand up like bouncer PlayStation things. I think she's gonna love those. I'm sure I'll do another one of these videos in a few months when I have a lot more like new must haves to talk about. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for all of my like absolute must have items that have been essential for us that we've used every single day and have come super in handy and just made this whole like motherhood, parenthood thing a little bit easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you are a first time mom, I'm sending you my love. I hope that you are just enjoying this time of life. And if you're pregnant right now, I hope your pregnancy is going super well. Maybe you're watching this video to kind of prepare for what's to come. It is the best thing ever. Having a little baby is just like, oh, it's just the joy of your life. It really is like the best thing ever. I could just kiss her cheeks all day. So also sending my love to all of you pregnant moms out there. But that is it for this video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and check out that sling tutorial because it's super helpful. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.